I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. Yo, 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 come on in, come on in. Get right in here. We gotta talk, man. I got a couple things I need to break down. So I just want y'all to stay around and just have a little patience because it's a lot. It's it, it's a it's in a lot. Salute to Hollow the Don, LOM Clothing.com. This is one of their new shirts, you know what I'm saying? I actually copped. Uh, a couple of the new joints with the bear on it. I think this is fire and these are large. It's just my body different I've been in that gym. You know what it is. So um, Hollow to Don salute to him. You know what I'm saying send me some more joints LOM clothing.com. You know what it is you dig um, I just want to break this down man like He's made some statements today that after Norbs because Norbs case made it to Yahoo Finance. Like, it's on Yahoo Finance, it's global. And Hollow, I gotta say, these joints is fitting amazing. I definitely love, I love the new drip, my Gs. Like, this is, I know I've been right, but this is amazing. So, um, his case made it to Yahoo Finance. I'm gonna read the Yahoo Finance article, and then we'll get into Hollow to Don's statements. And then, you know, we just gonna leave it. We gonna, we gonna put it there, man. But uh, uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's a second, but let's just get it right. So, Yahoo Finance puts out an article today that says, Ultimate Rap League sued by former, by co-founder Dagberto Velez. Norb's name is nasty. But, uh, for 40 million. And then the article says, Executive alleges he was wrongfully forced out after lucrative deals signed with Drake and Caffeine. And then it says, Co-founder of the Ultimate Rap League, Dagberto Velez, filed a $40 million lawsuit against the URL alleging he was wrongfully pushed out of the company after it signed a lucrative deal with the world-renowned recording art artist Aubrey Drake Graham and social media, social broadcasting platform Caffeine. Velez, who helped URL as, among other things, its primary talent recruiter, filed the multi-count lawsuit against URL executives Troy Mitchell, Eric Beasley, and Jean French, alleging breach of contract, wrongful dissolution, negligent misrepresentation, breach of fiduciary duty, and unjust enrichment, among other counts. Velez is represented by attorneys Jamar Creech of the Diversified Law Group, Landon White, and Martinez Jackson. According to the lawsuit, Velez co-founded the URL in 2009 and has since been responsible for identifying and securing most of the talent that appeared on the company's online rap battles. The lawsuit states that Velez had authority to bind the company to contracts and engage in negotiations. He often appeared on camera to represent the URL. His image likeness often appeared on advertisements. The lawsuit explains that Velez was an integral part of developing URL into the world's most respected battle arena. And defendants Mitchell Beasley French have made admissions that Velez is a partner or joint venture of the company. In February 2020, URL announced a partnership with Drake and Caffeine to supply battle rap content on Caffeine's social broadcasting platform. On April 28, 2020, the defendants publicly dissolved their relationship with Velez. On July 1st, Caffeine announced that it raised $113 million in a D-series round of funding and that Battle Rap will be its anchor content and highlighted its relationship with the URL. The lawsuit states that Velez was a significant contributor to URL, helping to get its exposure on national TV and contributing to the landing of the company's deal with Caffeine. Velez seeks more than $40 million in damages as well as a 10% royalty in perpetuity from the URL. The lawsuit is available here. Bam! There's a link to the lawsuit press release and all of the pages. It's like 80 pages long. It's fully available for anybody to see. If you want to see it, you can see it at the Lawsuit Press. Uh, and I will say that once it makes it to Yahoo Finance, it's a totally different level. Yahoo is glow. We all know Yahoo, one of the biggest news brands in the world. This is, this is not small just in the loop of battle rap anymore. Now it's big. 
And the key things that I'm taking away from this article is the fact that there's a lawsuit, but they're putting Caffeine's name in it. Now they're putting Drake's name in it. These are the things that, and Norbs expressed on different levels when we spoke briefly that he didn't want it to go here. He said that he wanted this to be solved. They didn't want it. He didn't want to have to take it there, but he was basically not given any option. He said he was not offered anything. He said when he made his demands, the demands were not met. They didn't even want to have a conversation with him and basically kicked him out of the whip. Like, yo, you're not getting anything and that's the end of it. So regardless of how y'all feel about him being a slime ball, doing a bunch of fuck shit, whoop, 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 he was not offered anything and he never was he said he wasn't even offered five dollars well he was offered an app they gave him an app to the app where most of the battles that was going on in the born legacies down in tampa and ohio's battles that he put together they gave him a subscription to the app to watch the battles that he put together and then once he filed the paperwork they cut off his subscription they cut the, they cut the subscription that shit is crazy and that, like i said it's going to go with it's going to go there now because now you got bigger companies involved and now you got bigger things happening so hollow the don uh who has been one to voice his opinion on different levels and things like that said on twitter hey guys how do you feel about these millions of dollars being thrown around and we can't get an extra 10 grand and he went on to at calico verb dna loaded lux kishi Gotti, big t daylight he took the article and he added all of them and basically threw the article out there like how do y'all feel because i said based off of the outcome of this lawsuit would change the the, the complexion of battle rap forever because if if norms walks out of here with a big bag artists are going to be like yo what the fuck what is this like how am I not getting this? I'm getting off of this and I'm not getting that. And he's getting, it, it's going to get nasty out here. But that wasn't the one. His, his bigger statement was that he took to Instagram and he said some things in this statement that were eye-opening. And um, I spoke to Hollow and uh, he stands on it and he's not backing away from it. Um, if you want what I got on, lomclothing.com, you know that. Um... Snow that he said Norbs is suing for 40 million caffeine invested 113 million into battle rap I haven't battled on URL because I'm asking for more than usual and that's a big issue I want to ask my peers. Do you still believe we don't have a budget or that's way too much money? How is it when millions is involved and we're still fighting to get an extra few thousand DNA? Do you believe you're not worth 50,000 minimum, 100,000 max? Tay Rock, you give your all every time and you don't believe you should have got an extra 25,000 signing bonus just for being Tay Rock when this deal got signed? Hey Goods, if you knew that Cassidy got, would, if you knew what Cassidy would have got, you would have been mad as hell. You got, you put 10 plus easy in this and still have to fight to get extra bands. Now, Here's the clincher. Instead of paying us a bonus when this million dollar deal happened, they gave us an option to have a show on caffeine and make you work 30 hours a month to get a few extra bands. Let's be real. Nobody wants to have to turn in hours every month just because we didn't have lawyers to get our copyrights. We are slaves. Unfortunately, our slave owners are black hiding behind a corporate entity pimping us wow um where y'all want me to go with that um he's basically saying things that i knew or i had heard about the artist um wanting more money to do these battles and it's like when a company signs for millions and they're still hitting you with the we don't got the money or this that and the third yeah the artist they shouldn't be doing it i don't i could see clearly why hollow is not taking the battle there's no way in hell i wouldn't want more um and from what i heard cassidy got paid Good should good should have felt the way too. And the show thing. I know that a lot of the artists, you see a lot of these artists doing shows. A lot of these artists don't want to do them, but they're doing them anyway. And I know that a lot of the caffeine deals or what I what they were being offered, well, what they were probably being offered was probably more than what they offered me. But what they offered me wasn't even worth a day of my time, let alone 30 hours. I seen it, I was like, fuck no. That's just what, what I, I'm not an artist though. So they probably looked at it like we could pimp a lot of those guys that's doing them shows on there. They not really did uh -uh. no way. 
I know what if if and for me to have the, a bigger name in media and to get offered what I got, some of them probably got offered way less. And I mean, they probably did it, but there is no way in fucking hell I would have wasted my time with it. But um, Hollow saying that they're slaves being pimped. But the thing is, the artists have the power because it's like if you know what you're worth and you know your value, you should find a way to get it. A lot of these artists, I say it all the time. Don't have YouTube channels. Don't have clothing lines. Don't have music. Don't have no way of making bread. So when something like a pandemic or, or something like this comes along, they out here looking crazy. They ain't got no, they ain't got nothing. So it's like the artists, like, you know, Hollow got clothes. I don't understand why other artists don't have their own clothes. I don't understand why other artists ain't making proper business decisions. You see Daylight, Daylight has a YouTube channel now. His YouTube channel has thousands and thousands of subscribers and he just talks about everything that's going on. Basically the same thing that we're doing but not at this level, you know what I'm saying? But he could just literally talk about a random subject and do the same views that anybody else because he's the artist. But the artists don't even have their own YouTube channels. They're not even thinking that I can make thousands of dollars a month just talking shit about battle rap on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? They could easily make Whatever your rent is, or whatever your mortgage is, or whatever you could eat, those artists can easily make their rent or mortgage talking about battle rap. Now, let's dig back into this. Um, so those are hollow statements. And I know a lot of y'all, there was a comment on a live stream that said, LeBron James can't walk up to the owner of the Rockets and ask him how much the Rockets are worth. Well, what the Rockets are worth are, is, is public knowledge anyway. Let's see. Let's see if I can find out how much are the Houston Rockets worth. How much are the Houston Rockets? We just want to, I want to see if this is, um, is public knowledge. Yeah. The Houston Rockets are worth $2.4 billion and the Rockets reportedly generated $348 million in revenue. That, that, see, that's the thing. You can find that. That's easily, you can, so I don't know if that's a valid question because you can't just walk up to a battle league owner and be like, yo, how much you worth? You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as with this Norb shit, they probably should have got Norbs out the door before they even signed. Like, I, I, it is what it is, but the publicity is definitely crazy and it's going to be, a, this is not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, hollow statements are what they were. And he just feels the way he feels. He's saying that the reason why we haven't seen him is because he's asking for a little more. And the league is like, nah, we, we, we just, that's just something that we're not, we not about to do right now. But as an MC who's had millions of views, been in movies, had big battles, if they see somebody getting more bread, what you think? You think they're not going to ask about it? They're going to ask for more. So we're going to see where it goes. I think battle rap and the reflection of it is going to change a lot because this is the this is supposed to be the biggest week of the year as far as like summer madness going on and things like that. And Norbs is the biggest topic in battle rap right now. Niggas ain't talking about summer madness like that. It might be a little sprinkle here and there, but they, they, he didn't took over the, the the complexion of battle rap. But other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. This blog is not sponsored by RiceGang.com. It is sponsored by LOMClothing.com. Make sure y'all go over there, you know, copy some merchandise, you know, but you're not going to look like this with, with the shirt. You got to put in the work, you know what I'm saying? But it's a start. Dig a dig. Salute to every single one of y'all niggas out there. Gangster. Can y'all believe what's going to happen? Like if, uh, if, if the nigga, if the nigga Nubs gets that kind of money, that nigga going to be pulling up in a 2000. Thirty, Phantom. Chico, you a window shopper. Mad at me? I think I know why. Beasley, you a window shopper. In the dealership, looking at shit you can't buy. Smack, you a window shopper. Mad at me? Every time I ride by, that nigga doors is gonna be wildin', yo. I don't make the news. I just reported. Gone.